I wanna show you a camera that can take your content creation to the next level, it can help you get your YouTube video quality up, and it does it without breaking the bank. And nobody's really talking about it. This is the Sony a7C. I think it really flew under the radar the last couple years, especially with cameras like the Sony a7 IV that came out or the a7S III. Now those cameras are really great, but they come in at a price point that puts them almost at a professional level, but they're not really accessible to a lot of content creators who are trying to do everything on a budget. And that's where the Sony a7C comes in. I think you can get really similar results with it without hitting that same price point. Let me tell you why I think it's underrated. All right, so first, this camera is straight up small. Look at how tiny this is. Right now, I have a camera cage on it and it's only this big. It really does feel like a portable small camera. It weighs just over a pound. You can use it out in public without feeling like everybody's gonna be watching you because it's so small. And it's not gonna limit you from taking it with you when you're going out and about, when you're traveling. It's easy to fit in a backpack. Next, I think this camera is underrated because it's full frame. It's the cheapest camera you can get in the Sony lineup that's full frame that's gonna get you that really quality image. Now, if you don't know, full frame is really gonna help you with the overall quality of your 4K image. Yes, you can shoot 4K with something like a crop sensor, and there's really good crop sensor cameras out there, but the full frame really does have an advantage when it comes to things like low light, and you'll just notice when you're taking photos, when you're zooming in, if you have to crop your image, it's gonna be a better quality image at the end of the day. It has a 24 megapixel sensor, which I find is plenty if you're taking photos for things like Instagram, so again, the sensor, the full frame size that you get out of it, it's the quality that's gonna set it apart. Now this isn't necessarily unique to the a7C, but all the Sony cameras have a really great autofocus system. So even the camera I'm shooting on now, if I step back here, it's gonna recognize my face, I'm gonna stay in focus. If I take a few steps forward, I know that I'm gonna be in focus. I don't even have to worry about it. The a7C is no different. It has a really great autofocus system, whether you're shooting yourself and you can rely that it's gonna stay in focus, or if you're out in public trying to get some B-roll, it's easy to just tap the screen and you know it's gonna be quick and reliable, even in low light conditions. Now the fourth point I wanna make about this is that the camera is a great price. I know it's not the cheapest camera on the market, but it is one of the cheapest full frame cameras you can get. And I think when you make that step into the full frame world, you really do notice the difference in the quality you're getting. So this really is a good price for what you're getting. It has all the features you need. It has the flip out screen, the, the mic jack, the headphone jack. Sony batteries are known to last a decent amount of time. You don't need any of the fancy lenses. This is the Tamron 17 to 28, and I love this camera for you, anything YouTube related. Um, if you're gonna be vlogging, it would be a perfect vlogging lens. So again, this camera really is the perfect full frame camera for YouTubers, and I think it's underrated in 2023 because I don't see a lot of other people talking about it. You see the professionals talking about the professional line, and you see some other people talking about how good iPhone cameras get, but this really lands right in the middle where you can step into the camera, the full frame world, without jumping to those professional level cameras. It's portable, it's lightweight, it's got great autofocus. The price is right in my opinion. You don't need to kit it out with all sorts of accessories. It's gonna come pretty well ready to use other than getting a good lens. And if you want my recommendation for any of the stuff that I would use with it, for example, this little tripod would make vlogging way easier. I have my recommendation for a mic, for the tripod, and for a few other things you might need with the camera if you want to get the full kit. But think about it, this is a great camera if you want to level up your content. Now if you want to hear a little bit more about gear, you can check out this video where I go over my whole kit that I bring with me when I'm traveling as a content creator slash filmmaker. So check that out.